Well, now to our series, One Match, Second Chance, and a story from our Los Angeles affiliate, KABC, how one woman in need of a bone marrow transplant wasn't able to find a match, but her son stepping up, able to save her life, KABC reporter Denise Tador has the story. In 2018, doctors discovered that Cindy Freeman's red and white blood cells and platelets had dropped to dangerous levels. Pretty scary for me because I was basically living off of transfusions. Cindy's diagnosis, severe aplastic anemia. Her immune system was attacking her bone marrow where blood cells are made. When immunosuppressive treatments failed, Cindy's only hope was a bone marrow transplant. They checked for a 10 out of 10 match on the Be The Match um, registry and they didn't have one. Fortunately, Cindy had three other options up her sleeve. Three of my sons ended up being haploidentical matches. Haploidentical means half a match. How is it possible that we can do a transplant now with only a 50% match when for the previous three decades, we required a 100% match? The answer, advances in post-transplant drugs to prevent rejection. In November 2021, Cindy's son, Brian, became her donor. He was able to give me life Back. But there are many situations in which a haploidentical transplant is not the answer. That's why we'd like to continue you know, informing the public about the importance of becoming a donor. Being part of the donor registry is easier than ever. If you're between the ages of 18 and 40, you're eligible. It just takes one match to save a life. Scan the QR code below to find out more. It's important for donors to know too that they don't have to go through a painful procedure to be donors. Most of the time, you can have a peripheral blood stem cell donation and not go to the operating room. But in a small percentage of cases like Cindy's, her son Brian needed to donate bone marrow through a minimally invasive procedure. It's actually very much just like a dull soreness and um, the bottom of your back. A small price to pay for his mom's complete recovery. In Duarte, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And you too can help save a life. You heard Denise mention it. For more info, just scan that QR code on your screen to go to Be The Match, the website, and tune into GMA Tuesday as we celebrate 10 years since Robin's return to the anchor desk after her own bone marrow transplant. Wow, 10 years. Yeah. Amazing. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.